Greetings, Ranger fans. I'm Brian Montgomery, joined today by head coach Brandon Hickman, Jesuit heading into the second week of district play after a big win here at Postel Stadium against Plano West. Coach, the Rangers, I think it's pretty safe to say, had a pretty solid start there in the first quarter, scored 21 points in the first seven minutes of the game, uh, en route to a 38-3 win. Talk about that opening run, three touchdowns really quickly, uh, score, cause a turnover, big kick return, all of which lead to touchdowns, a great way to start momentum in that game. Well, we wanted to get off to a good start, you know, like every week. You want to you start strong, and I thought the kids uh, started very strong in the first uh, quarter of the game. Uh, we got a touchdown and then a big interception by Chase Walker to get a 14-0 lead, and then the defense kept turning it on. And, um, you know, we were able to go up 21 nothing there in the first quarter, which gave us a little cushion. Uh, but that was something we wanted to do, get off to a really strong start. I felt like the kids uh, definitely executed the game plan. And then looking at what that defense was able to do, again, Chase Walker picking up a big pick, but Plano West never really got anything going in that contest until very, very late. Uh, looking at how the defense has really shifted from the beginning of the season to now, we've seen definitely a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence in this defensive team. Talk to how that has developed over the last few weeks. I mean, our kids are, you know, they're, they're getting after it. They're playing hard. They're swarming the ball. Um, Coach Woods and staff has done a great job with the game plans each week. Um, and they're just playing hard. You know, anytime you play hard like that, you can create turnovers, and, and uh, you know our guys are good, playing great team defense. Um, nobody's really cares about any stats; they're just all playing hard together. And and uh, you know, like I said last week, the kids care about each other. I think that's important too. They have fun out there with each other, and uh, you know that's going to help us this season. And then the wide receiving core again had another great game. Uh, both EJ Smith, along with Jonathan Paredes, all getting touchdown receptions. And looking at what we've talked about before, why Garrett had a couple of touchdowns this year. We've seen Kyle Hackle, Jay Taylor, all. All these different components of that offense really clicking well, but that wide receiving core, knowing that you have at any given time four guys on the field that can catch the pass, even under coverage, has to have you feeling good about how that offense can work week by week. It does. I mean, we're able to run the ball. You know, that's one thing we have to be able to do, but being able to pass it, that sets up your passing game. Um, you know, I thought those guys played well. I thought also Christian Alaco played a really good game for us. Um, and, you know, Rance made some good throws, and we protected well. Um, so, yeah, offensively, I think we've got a few guys that we can get the ball to, which is nice. Instead of having just one person, uh, we can we got four or five guys. Also, Kyle Heckle getting in there and making some plays. So, um, it's encouraging to know that we've got enough uh, depth there uh, to get throughout the district. And then over the last two weeks, one part of the team that we haven't really talked about that much is the special teams. And we <laughs> saw a big return two weeks ago against Wiley, and then Robert Fitzgerald off of a missed field goal almost broke one loose for six. And that special teams, it's its one of those parts of the team that they're only on the field for one play every now and then. But when they do make an impact and it can be a sizable impact, it really helps the team out. Yeah, that's one area that I feel like we've really improved on this year is our special teams. Uh, we spend a lot of time on special teams. Uh, we're always doing something daily um, and, and, and having meetings with the kids on our special teams. And uh, you know, before half there, we were trying to see if we could get catch one, and he caught one, the old, you know, kick six, the Auburn-Alabama Al game a couple of years back, but and almost returned it. But, uh, you know, also the punt return, the Loco had, um, our kickoff coverage has been good this year. Um, and then our kick return, you know, we were able to bust out a big one last week that I thought was huge. And then, you know, we faked a couple of punts, um, you know, and, and uh, we, we've also got the swinging gate that we worked uh, quite a bit. So we, we've got a lot different uh, – um, take on special teams that we've had previous years. We wanted to really focus more on that, and I think the kids are taking a lot more serious. And, Coach, now looking at the Broncos, we know they have a solid team. Uh, what have you seen so far on film about the Broncos, and what can Ranger fans expect? Well, I mean, they have a good football team. You know, Coach McBride's his first year there, and, and I know he does a great job. He's supposed to go against each other when he was at Coppell. Um, you know, their kids are scrappy. They play really hard. You know, I think it's going to be a great battle. It's going to be a good game for us, uh, and we're on the road. Um, so, you know, I'm impressed with their, their defense. They're pretty active on defense. Um, their offense is good. Uh, I think their quarterback is young, but he does a good job throwing the football, and they run the ball well. So um, they've been tight with everybody. You know, they beat Naaman Force, and then they played a couple of really tight games uh, with Marcus and then also with Plano East, who, you know, both have good football teams. So um, it's going to be a challenge. We need to have a great week of practice, good preparation. It's a short week, so we've got to really be on top of things this week, and I feel like we've got a good game plan put together. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to you this upcoming Thursday. Again, the Rangers taking on McKinney Boyd at McKinney ISD Stadium. Kickoff scheduled for 7 p.m. You can watch the game live this week, WFAA. As always, you can listen to Tom, Jack, and Chris on 770 KAAM, starting with the Legacy Texas pregame show at 630. And as always, be sure to keep it locked into JesuitRangers.org for all of your up-to-date Rangers info.